Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Tinker77. Thank you for joining me today. I am here again on Tinker World. I'm down in the storage room, as you can see. And we have some uh, things planned for today. Mostly they're more maintenance style plans. And so uh, the first thing I want to talk about is being AFK. I do not have a fish farm anymore because it got destroyed by some sort of uh, bug. And so what I want to do is have a place where I can do AFK fishing. I can go AFK. And that's really needed because my farms haven't been producing. Um, people have been buying my iron, for example. And I've only got one stack of iron, really, to sell. I need to get more iron, which means i got to go AFK so it spawns. Also, my slime farm and my carrot farm haven't been producing a lot because I'm not here. I'm not online. So we're going to do a fish farm. But I need to find out where like a midpoint is so that I can make sure that all those chunks are loaded. So we'll try to figure that out in just a little bit. Um, but before I do that, I want to say, hey, thank you for all the support you've been giving me so far. Things have been going okay. They, they were going really well for quite a while, and it turns out that people liked one particular video uh, back when 112 came out. And that video, of course, that hype is gone, and so things have kind of settled down a little bit. So I need to generate some more hype. So let's uh, you know put the like button there, and let's see if we can get some... Uh, you know, talk about the, about Tinker 77, everything like that. And let's see if we can get some hype generated. I'm hoping with uh, when the full crap 1.5 comes out, um, you know, we'll have a lot more hype. So if you're liking this video, please click the like button. Give me some comments. Let's see what we can do else inside of Tinker World. And uh, yeah, so let's uh, just move on. I came over to the slime farm because I wanted to see if I can get some coordinates. Figuring that if I got the coordinates of this and the iron farm, I can find them like the midpoint between the two. So I have the best chance of making a fish farm at that point. And I noticed that this has all have a fence around this now. I didn't do this. Uh, so someone on my community did this. I want to say thank you to whoever that is. Um, this is great. They've also put in like a little gate here and a way down, you know, so I don't, I don't fall off the ladder. And that's pretty cool. And that's what's kind of nice about having a community, um, server community that you use. And that you have that you know it, people on the, the uh, community tend to help out when there's a big dig or a big project they tend to help out um and that's kind of cool so whoever did this thank you so like i said i came over here to get some coordinates so let's get some coordinates of this point right uh, right where the ladder is really okay so we're going to write this down i got a piece of paper here it's negative 754 okay write that one down and it's 1474 Okay, so now let's go over to the iron farm and see about that. And the easiest way for me to do that is probably to fly. Not to throw the rockets out, but to fly. Okay, see if I can take off. Here we go. So we're going to make to the iron farm over here. And I want to see if I can get this chunk loaded. It's iffy if I can do it with the fish farm, but hopefully we can do that. Let's see here. Okay, so I really need to have this area here. And the coordinate here is negative 927 by 1699. Okay, so let me just calculate out where the midpoint is and go to that point, and, and uh, we'll see what we can do. All right, so midpoint between the iron farm and the slime farm is right where I'm standing, right where this torch is, right here. Okay, so this is the spot. This is where we have to have the fish part. I'm going to put a hole here with a torch just so I kind of mark it because we're going to have to come back to this. I'm going to have to go get the materials that I need to make a, a fish farm, an AFK fish farm, and then we're going to start that process up. So let me go gather those resources and we'll be right back to this location and we'll start this process. I made the basic AFK fish farm. I have a tutorial for this that I'll put a link to in the description, but it's a basic design and the idea being that you would fish with your fishing rod, you aim at the top part of this door here, makes the bobber go down, and when a fish or something gets caught like that, it automatically drops down to the hopper, which goes into the chest. It's basic, everybody's seen it, um, so you can find it all over the web if you do any searches, so I'm not gonna show you about that. But it's built, it's ready to go. So now what I need to do with this is I need to make some more storage, because if you see here, I've only got one chest, and I've only got two fish. So I'm gonna do a basic hopper a uh, line underneath here, that the hopper um, chest, I don't know what you want to call it, basically a big chest queue. And from that will go all the way down to the bottom so that I can get all the stuff I need and then do a flush system. So that's the next step here, bit digging it out. I've dug out the pit, it's ready to go. So the next thing I need to do here is I need to add in some of the chest 
with the hoppers that kind of go back and forth and zigzag all the way down. That's the storage. And then after we get that done, and I'll, of course, get a ladder so I can get down there, we can then get the uh, flushing system working. And then this will be fully operational, and we can start to actually make structure around it to give it uh, some protection so we don't get killed. Um, but it looks like when you stand here, at this point here, I can see the iron farms, and I'm assuming that I could see the slime farm. So we should have everything loaded from this point. This is the central point. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to get everything done uh, here with this chest, and then I'll be back. The system is in place. You can see I've got a trapdoor and a ladder going down, and we have a bunch of these chests that are just going back and forth cascading. So what happens is, if there's nothing in it right now, so if I try to fish and we catch a few things, it should show up down in the bottom chest. So let's see what we get here. Shouldn't take too long with this particular fishing rod since it's got Lure 3 and uh, Luck of the Sea. Of course, as I say that, it's taking forever. There's a piece. It looked like a fish. Let's grab one more thing. See if we're real quick what it is. Maybe we'll get a mending book. That'd be great. Don't see anything yet, though. See, so you can look for the little bubbles that come across. Any second now. There it is. Okay, so we had two items. So if we go down here, they should go back and forth between all of these chests until they come down here. And we do. It's two fish. Excellent. Okay, so that's working. So the next thing I need to do with this is I'm going to tear some of this out that I put down, and we're going to make the flushing system so that when I'm done with picking out all the resources that I want to keep, I can flip a button or a lever and everything will be dumped into a trash system. Okay? So let's do that next. Behind this wall and the wall behind the chest here are the circuitry for the flush system. And I'll put a link to that in the description also as well. So what I have here though is this is the button that will flush the system. Okay? So let's say we have items. I, I can get ender pearls real easy at the ender ender, so we'll just use that. The items will stay in here. So as I fish, they'll come down, they'll be down here. So there we go. Now, if I'm ready to flush the system, I just hit the button and hear everything being disposed of. And it will then stop when it gets done here. See, it's all done. Nothing's there. It's all emptied out. So that's working great. Uh, like I said, I'll put the links to the fish farm and, uh, and the flush system in the description. So my next thing that I really want to do is I want to get this thing secured because we have this area that's out in the open. And I want to make sure that nothing can get me while I'm AFK. So now we're going to build a structure around it. I've been decorating and I've started to uh, mix up some of the blocks textures as I'm building. I'm not very good at this, as you know, so I'm just doing what I can. So I'm using this, uh, this uh, acacia, what I believe it is. If I'm right. <laughs> Let's make sure here. Uh, yeah, it's acacia. Yeah. Um, I like the color, kind of like the off gray color. I'm trying to put that with the, uh, I've got some cobblestone stairs and other cobblestone pieces, plus some cracked brick, which I uh, put into the furnaces. So I'm slowly building this up. Now the entranceway will be right here, and then I'll have a way to see out from here and here. We can't really go past this point, which is great. Here's the, uh, going down to the uh, storage part. So this will be really good. Now I'll have to do some terraforming around here. Probably take out this whole entire point right here and move it over there or something. But uh, yeah, it's slowly coming together. So I'm going to continue on working on this and uh, we'll see how it goes. Also, I want to apologize. I'm starting to lose my voice, I think. I'm not sure. So um, if I sound a little different, it's me. It's just uh, something's going on. Maybe I've caught something. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, let me get working some more on this and see if I can get this looking a lot better. I finished the building. I'm not sure I like it as well as I thought I would. Um, the color mixture, I'm not sure about. It's okay. I did make a little, like, it looks like a chimney almost, but this is actually a hole where the uh, sky access to the water is, so no monsters can get on there. Nothing should spawn up there, but in case it does, they can't get in and uh, drop down on me, which would be bad. So there's a little bit like terraforming I have to do. You know, this is a very hard edge. I want to fix this up. I want to fix this area back here. You know, uh, got these head bangers in my way. I'm not sure I like that, but uh, it's working and it's, it's, you know, it's safe. I can get in and I can do the fishing here. There's the block that I, there we go. Took out of that for the hole, but uh, yeah, so it's not bad. It works. I got a bed in here and a, and a uh, ender chest and things so I can do what I need to get done. And uh, everything looks good here. So this isn't bad. Now, 
uh, let's just keep it the way it is for now. But another thing I want to do is I got to terraform that area. But I also want this to go around because we've got a nice walkway coming over from here. You can see this is right here. It's almost relating right to it. And so maybe we can extend this path. So that's what I'm going to try to do now. Let's just see what I can do here real quick with this. So it's going right up to it. Um, so why don't we just take out this right here. Just like that. And some more of this. And then we have all this dirt. Now we can fill in some of this, like these holes right here. Get this out of the way. Um, yeah, and we'll do some of this over here. And then we'll let the grass grow, and then maybe we can uh, make some of it like the sand color that I did here. Make me widen this out a little bit more, you know. I'm just trying to do what I can to get this looking better uh, than what it is. And, and <laughs> I'm not very good at this decorating thing, guys. So, you know, this is a, a challenge for me. I wish I had some other people's skill who seem to be really good at it. I don't seem to be good at it. So let me let this grass grow. Let me fill in some more of this dirt over here because it needs it. And uh, we'll see how this looks in a bit, okay? Give me a chance to play. I started to put in the sand, and I have completely run out of sand. I'm all out. I don't have any in my storage system. So we're going to have to go and get some. So there we go. We'll take off. We'll go over to the uh, where the desert area is over here. This is the, where I originally got the villagers, if you remember, for the villager breeder. There's a little desert area, and I've been kind of sanding this, getting the sand out of this area, you can see. Um, so we'll go over here, and we'll just start uh, grabbing some more. It's pretty easy with the shovel that I have. Whoa, don't want to go too far there. Yep, with a shovel, I mean, you get sand so quickly, and I don't need a lot, so. But you just, you know, it's like speed mining because this, this shovel is so good. So let me get some more sand. I'll probably stockpile what I can here, and then we'll head back. I think it looks a little bit better now. Uh, it still has some room for improvement, but obviously it always does. But we have the path here. It goes around. Um, you can see it kind of goes through the trees. I really do like the trees. And I've put the uh, path going all the way over. Now, some of these blocks like this one just changed, so I'll change that over. I'm waiting for these to turn to grass, and they will shortly. And I'll change that out. But this goes all the way over to the fish farm. So then I can go in here. I can then grab my uh, fisher and work on it and do the fishing and that sort of thing. So it's working really nicely. I really like it. I just have to get wait for these spots to uh, be, what, grassy? <laughs> so I can make them grass pads. But we'll get there in a little bit. I do like how it's foresty. And I think I want to add some more saplings over here um, and put them down and make some more trees. Make a little bit more foresty now that I know where it is. I'm also thinking about maybe putting in this path over here on this other side because it kind of goes around on this side over here and I'm thinking maybe if I did that because it kind of goes this side over here which is where we have um, the the villager breeder an entrance to it and uh, that sort of thing I'm not sure it also kind of goes over towards this area and perhaps we can do something with this I don't know quite yet what I want to do but Possibly a dock or some sort of sh big ship. Um, I can't do anything as great as Thomas does with his ships, but it gives you an idea of what could be here. So I'm going to think on that for a little bit um, and probably go AFK and see how much fish I can get and make sure everything works while I cook some food to eat. And then I'll be back, okay? Well, that took a lot longer than I thought it would. So uh, I don't have a lot more time to record today. Um, so I guess... That's it. Um, I'll, the next time I come on, I'll be doing probably another Sky Factory. And maybe I'll do another stream later on today or in the next couple of days. Time is, is weird right now because I'm still trying to get my schedule adjusted because of the new work that I have. So you'll have to forgive me. I'm still trying to figure this out. So anyway, that's all I've got time for. If you like this video, please click that like button. I really do appreciate those likes. If you have any comments, put them in the comment section. I'll try to respond as soon as I can. And uh, if you'd like to get notified of any videos I produce, please subscribe to this channel. And press that little bell icon to make sure you get those. Again, I am Tinker77. Thank you for joining me. Have a great day. Bye-bye.